Unraveling Idioms. Dance yourself dizzy. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into an exciting English idiom. Dance yourself dizzy. This phrase captures the imagination and evokes vivid images, doesn't it? Our goal is to break it down for you, so by the end of this video, you'll not only understand what it means but also how to use it confidently in your conversations. Let's get started. At first glance, dance yourself dizzy seems to suggest dancing so energetically and passionately that you literally feel dizzy. However, in English, this phrase is often used metaphorically. It means to do something with great enthusiasm and vigor, to the point of exhaustion or losing one's bearings. The beauty of this idiom lies in its vivid imagery. It's not just about dancing but engaging in any activity with such zeal that it overwhelms you. While the exact origin of dance yourself dizzy is difficult to pinpoint, idioms like this one are rooted in the universal human experience of celebration and exertion. This phrase can be used in various contexts, from literally dancing at a party or festival to working tirelessly on a project you're passionate about. It's a versatile expression that adds color and dynamism to speech. Let's see how dance yourself dizzy can be seamlessly incorporated into everyday English. 1. At a celebration, we're going to dance ourselves dizzy at the wedding reception tonight. 2. In work or study, I've been studying so hard for these exams, practically dancing myself dizzy with all the revisions. 3. While enjoying a hobby, every weekend, I garden until I dance myself dizzy. It's exhausting but so rewarding. These examples show the idiom's flexibility and how it can express joy, dedication, or intense involvement in an activity. And there you have it, folks. Dance Yourself Dizzy is a playful and expressive idiom that adds vibrancy to our language. It's all about diving into activities with all your heart and energy. We hope this video has illuminated its meaning and inspired you to sprinkle a bit of this idiomatic magic into your conversations. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to exploring more fascinating aspects of the English language together. Until next time, keep dancing through life, even if it makes you a little dizzy.